Hey there, everybody. Today we're talking about press fit. That's not some new way to lose 40 pounds in a week or get your chest up looking like Arnold. Press fitting is a way of fastening two pipes together, creating a joint. You might hear the term pro press thrown around, but that's just a proprietary term of just one manufacturer. Press fittings are still pretty new on the market, especially in North America. So a lot of people, from experienced plumbers to DIYers, may never have come in contact with them, let alone use them. Press fittings are made from either copper, brass, or stainless steel. For right now, we're gonna be talking about just the copper fittings. So, what's all the hype about? What makes these so much better than, say, soldering two pipes together? Soldering requires experience, training, and relatively in-depth safety procedures. Press fitting is super simple, very fast, and can be done by just about anyone with a good grip. There's no fire hazard, there's no fumes, there's no telling yourself you should probably have a fire extinguisher on hand and then just hoping for the best. Plus, it even works on uh, wet and damp pipes, which is not the case for soldering. I brought up how press installation is fast as just a moment ago. Consider the soldering process. For every joint, you have to clean the mating parts, apply flux, sweat the fitting, apply the solder, and finally clean the fitting, going through each step one joint at a time. With press fitting, you join all the pipes together and then you go and press every joint one by one. It's all one step and that increase in speed and simplicity gives this product its popularity. The main advantage that soldering has over press fitting is price. Press fitting is notably more expensive than traditional pipe fitting methods, but like I said, the, the increase in speed and convenience really offsets that factor, especially for contractors uh, whose main source of revenue is completing jobs as quickly as they can. Now, if you're the diligent home plumber that I know you are, you won't be satisfied with just that. How do these things work? Magnets? Elmer's glue? The fiery passions of your grip? No. One word. Friction. The ridge on the fitting houses a sealant ring, normally made from EPDM rubber, the same stuff we waterproof roofs with, as well as food-safe silicone lubricant. The pressure of the tight-fitting mating parts pressed together squishes the o-ring into a continuous, airtight seal. The friction of the tight fitting, as well as sometimes small indented ridges around the contours of the sealant ring, holds the joint tightly in place. And that's it. That simple piece of design should create a reliable joint that should last you upwards of 50 years, the lifetime of the pipes. Lastly, you might be surprised by all the different brands of press fittings available on the market. Viega, Apollo, Nibco, imported fittings, domestic fittings. What's the difference? They all look practically the same. Is there any difference at all? Is one of these better than any other? Well. Not really. They're a standardized material and a standardized design. And while there's some variety on the design of the O-ring, they're all considered to be exactly the same amount of effectiveness. The one big difference is that domestic fittings are gonna cost you quite a bit more than imported fittings. Domestic products do tend to have better warranty and insurance over imported fittings, but like I said, they're very reliable and you're unlikely to need that insurance or warranty in the first place. You can find both domestic and imported fittings on our website, pexuniverse.com. That's it from us. I hope you found this video informative, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you're feeling really brave, leave us a comment about what kind of videos you'd like to see from us in the future, or any questions you have about plumbing or heating. Thanks for watching.